So we're going to finish with our Havoc Cloth product. Havoc Cloth is actually an entirely standalone technology, so it doesn't require Havoc Physics, but for us as a company, we're, we're really interested in the geometric problems and the, um, just the core, there's a core uh, root of uh, our, our technology, which I think Havoc Cloth speaks to. Um, so Havoc Cloth is a full tool chain and runtime, an artist tool chain and runtime for designing character clothing in real time. So the problem most studios face is they have a lot of these very, very cool characters and they have to actually animate the clothing. They have to animate the clothing for every action the character does, like hammering or turning or, or so on. And that's basically, a, again, a very, in the, with the next gen and the, the types of games um, people are demanding, it's, a, it's just a, a big task to, to author the cloth and animate it. So uh, to, to use a real-time solution, what you're doing is you're able to use, take your basic character um, walk, run, cycles and so on, and then have the cloth run in real time to simulate. So any of the transitions between the different animations get, get handled by the runtime system. Um, so I'm going to hand over now to Steve and he'll, he'll walk through some of the technical features of the product. So basically we give this uh, troll demo to our, our artists and let them rip with the cloth product. And uh, in the same way as the, the physics is multi-threaded, all of the various cloth instances we see in the troll, I can just bring up an example. 80% of this troll is handled with cloth, and each of those cloth instances can be ran on separate threads, um, little separate bodies of work. And uh, so it scales very, very nicely in the same way as the, the physics scales very, very nicely. And we wanted to, to be able to show not only just cloth in, in the traditional sense, but also soft bodies, um, uh, various articles of clothing like the eye patches and the feathers. Um, and it's a very standalone, very s simple use of an effect that adds an awful lot to the, the character just by having a physical secondary motion applied to what the artist would be creating in, in terms of the animation.